Some of you who are watching might be wondering, who are the Redemptorists? Who are they sent to serve? What motivates them? What keeps them going? Let me just tell you a little bit about our history and our tradition. The Congregation of the Most Holy Redeemer, popularly known as Redemptorist Missionaries, was founded by St. Alphonsus Liguori almost 300 years ago in the south of Italy. St. Alphonsus became very aware that many people had no idea about the Gospel, about Jesus Christ, about what it meant to live a Christian life. And encountering these people in many different places, but especially in small rural communities, he felt compelled to bring the Gospel to them in a language they would be able to understand. Over time, he gathered around him a group of other men, some priests, some laymen, and together they worked with laymen and women to bring the gospel message to other people. The good news that God is full of mercy and love, that God really wants to communicate with you and wants you to speak to him as a friend, that God is there for you in all of your needs, in whatever situation you find yourself. Now, St. Alphonsus was aware that many people, especially those living in cities, who belonged to parishes, who had big churches to go to and priests to serve them, they already had lots of opportunities to hear this message. But many people, especially those living in the countryside, especially the very poor, didn't have someone who could speak the message to them in a language that they could understand and to which they could relate. So he wanted the people he gathered around him to go to these people above all. What motivated these first Redemptors? What continues to motivate Redemptors missionaries today? I think it's because we've experienced that God does care about us. God cares about you. God cares about me. He cares about us personally and individually. God also cares about this world in which we live and about all people, all of our brothers and sisters. And once we've experienced that loving care of God, plentiful redemption, we often say, once we know the mercy of God, we can't keep it to ourselves. It's a message that we want to share with others. You're not alone. You don't need to be alone. There is meaning to life. And this message, we believe, is intended for everyone. Today, Pope Francis talks a great deal about the people who live on the peripheries. He's talking about not only the geographic peripheries, those far extreme remote places in our world. He's talking also about the peripheries of the big cities, those places where migrants live, where many people who have left the countryside to seek their fortune livelihood, to provide for family, where they've moved. But he's also speaking about what he calls existential peripheries. Those people who feel on the margins of society, on the margins of institutions. Those people who feel left out, whether it's of the church, society at large, who feel they don't have a voice. Those are the people to whom redemptorist missionaries are sent. We want to communicate to them, above all, that God is interested in you, cares about you, cares about you with the mercy that a father has for a child, that a mother has for those she's born and brought to life, that God is intimately involved in each one of our lives, and that together we are sisters and brothers to one another. And we can become more deeply engaged with each other, involved in one another's lives, and create a world which is more according to God's plan, a world of peace and justice. I think those are the people to whom we're sent. I think almost all of us can find our place among them. You've come to this website seeking something. That means the Redemptress are sent also to you. Hope you find what you're looking for. Thanks for visiting. Through Christ. Amen.